welcome to my channel. I'll be Jess. Bye world! Today we're going to do another scratch tutorial and we're going to learn about the looks box. Not all of them but half of them because we're going to split each section into two parts. So for the next video we're going to be doing the rest of the looks. Looks blocks are one of the most used blocks in the whole entire scratch and you can use a lot of them to make animations. Let me show you the looks block. Whoa! Looks blocks are used to control a sprite's appearance. If you see in the scratch box section, looks blocks are the purple colored blocks shown here. These are one of the most used blocks. Some of these apply to sprites only. That is to control the appearance of our sprites and some apply for the stage. Now let's explore each of the blocks under the look section. First we have the say blocks. The say for two seconds block is a looks block that displays the speech bubble for the sprite that runs it. With the text we get, and the text appears on the screen for the number of seconds we mention here. For example, let's drag this and test hello for 3 seconds. And let's run it. There we go. Our cat says, hello. We can use this block when we need a conversation in our animation. Or we need to display any text on the screen. The next block is similar to the one we just saw, except that with this block, there's no time given as to how long the text should appear on the screen. So the text will stay on the screen until another say or thought block is activated or when we stop the program. Let me show you. Let me drag the say block and run it. See, the text just stays on the screen. Okay, now moving on. The next two blocks and think blocks are similar to the say blocks we just talked about, except that the think blocks will give a think bubble instead of a speech bubble. Let me show you. Let's get the think block and let's add hmm. What should I do now? For two seconds. Now let's run it. There we go. This is so exciting. Okay, moving on. The next two blocks are related to switching sprites costumes. I hope you remember what costumes are. But I will show you again in a bit. First one is switch costume to block. Before going into details of this, let me first get a sprite. How about this one? He looks awesome, Champ 99. Now let's see the available costumes for our sprite. Let's go to the costumes tab and here you can see all the available costumes will be able to switch between these costumes to show animation and that's exactly what we use the Lux blocks we are talking about first let me drag the switch costume to block this this block changes the sprite's costume to specified one and you all you can all see the available costumes for the sprite are available in the drop down. You should be able to set any costume you want based on what you want to do in our program. So let's add some code so I can show it in action. So let's say we want to switch to all costumes and we have seven costumes. So let me add the code to switch to each of the costumes with the small weight in between. So let me add the code to switch to each of the costumes with a small way in between. I'm using the duplicate um, action to duplicate the code. I'm changing the different costumes so I can make him dance. Let me run 
done this. Yeah, he is dancing. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. You can see the sprites switching costumes to show the sprite in action. So the next block, next costume, is change the sprite's costume to the available in the costumes plan. If we are already at the last costume in the list, the block will loop to the first and change to the first costume. Let's try it out. Amazing! Now let me show you how we can replace all the code we wrote above using a loop and, and, and this next costume block. So let's go get the loop from the control section, but let's not get the forever loop. So let's get the repeat block. Let's put it around the costume block. And let's get a when green flag click block from the events. And now let's click it on and voila, let's try it out. God, he's going pretty fast, so let's probably add a weight. Maybe that I fix it. Let's add weight is 0.5 seconds. Okay, now let's run it. Also, I think you might have noticed that once it switches to all seven costumes, it starts with the first again. Awesome! We went through half of the looks blocks in this video, but in the next video, we'll cover the remaining looks blocks. I want you to try some of these blocks we discussed to create conversation between sprites and add some animations by switching costumes. I will show the rest of the looks blocks in the next video. Goodbye!